Kristen and welcome back to my channel. This is a faithful So today I'm going to show you how I prepare to go on trips and this one's been a little bit different because obviously it's for a long amount of time. So I'm going to be writing lists, I'm going to show you my packing list for YWAM if you are going to YWAM like now or in the future, hopefully this helps you to show you everything that I'm taking with me. I'm also going to be doing the last little bit of decluttering of my room and pretty much just packing up my room a little bit um, to be ready for when I go away, so putting away my Christmas decor and just neatening everything up so that it's all nice and clean for while I'm away. So we're going to get straight into it. The first thing we're going to start with is the list making. The first thing that I always do is write a big to-do list of everything that I need to do before I go away. Um, there's heaps of stuff to do. So that is the start of my list and that will grow in the next couple of days as well as I start um, writing down more things that I realize I need to do before I go away. So the first thing after I do after my list is I just start taking things off. So the first thing we're going to do today is declutter one of the boxes under my bed. So it has all of my extra room decor and Christmas stuff it is what I normally keep in there. So we're going to declutter that. So this is the first box. So this is all of my extra like room decor. So I have my little Christmas tree here, which will just go under my bed. These things I'm getting rid of. And these things are all things that I kept for my sister because she's redoing her room. So she loves some of the room decor that I had. So I'm going to be giving this stuff to her. The only other thing, which is like this tassel garland thing that I made. And we use it for heaps of stuff. So I've decided to keep that. So I just have that in a box, this room decor, and then this tree and I got rid of all this stuff so that's really good and the rest of my room is looking pretty clean um, from the room decor it's not looking too cluttered so that is really good all right so next we're gonna go through my cupboards I did a video a little while ago of decluttering my clothes and shoes but I need to declutter these white drawers so I did my makeup and stuff that was in there um, in a video a little while ago as well but I just need to go through my books um, things up here is literally just my suitcases and those boxes right up there are like little memory stuff so I'm just going to leave those things but I'm just going to go through my books and these white drawers and this bag as well is some like stationary stuff so I'm going to go through that and see what else I can get rid of. So this is everything I'm keeping here. This book didn't fit in these little drawers, but I'll just stick it underneath. So this is like all my extra pens and stuff. I'm not taking this. Then under here, I just have some files and notebooks that I haven't used yet. So I'll leave that there. And then this is just some random little stationary bits like cards, calculators, extra things for like calligraphy pens, and then some smaller notebooks that I haven't used yet and an extra pencil case. So I've just left that um, all there and I'll put these drawers back in, but that is all of the drawers done. I'm getting rid of these things here. And then this little pile is stuff that I wanna take to YWAM with me. Um, this is gonna be my travel book. So I got this for my birthday, but it already has some photos in it. So I'm gonna put photos in it and write in it while I'm away. Some colored pencils and stuff and this is going to be my book for all of my coursework as well um, and then I just have my prayer journal as well that I'll take but that's it for now that may change but I don't know for now that's it 
but I'm gonna put all this stuff back and that is this cupboard done. All right, so one of the other things that I want to get together and get ready before I start actually packing my suitcases is I have this envelope here of things that I've been collecting over the last um, couple of months, just like little memory things that I wanna take with me. So there's like little letters from some of my best friends, different Polaroids that we've taken at different times more little letters. I have a little section of cards and photos and things that I want to go through to see if there's any other things that I want to take with me just so that I can hang up in my bunk bed or just have to keep to look through while I'm away. So I'll show you at the end if I add any more things into this little envelope. So here's what we've got. We've got a bunch of photos. We've got some Polaroids. These are from photo booths. This is a random photo my nan took that she gave us, so I thought I'd take that of me and my sister. I have a couple of letters from my best friends and from some of the kids that I teach. Um, some couple of cards and stuff that are really special to me. But it's just a little stack and all fits in this envelope that I'll take away with me too. Alright, so the last thing that you just saw was my memory envelope, and I'm really excited about that. I think it'll be really fun to like decorate my little bunk bed that I'll have with different photos of all of my friends and stuff. Alright, so I just wanted to do a little bit of like a life update. So some things that I wanted to kind of tell you about that I haven't heard people talk about. Um, so when you're a part of YWAM, um, it's now one week before I go and I just wanted to tell you a few things that they do that might help you feel more comfortable if you're not really sure how it all works. So just before Christmas, my course leader um, gave me a call and so we got to talk about a few things. I could ask any questions that I have. He was able to tell me um, a bit more about the course and the schedule, what it might look like. And for the performing arts, we have three different rehearsals a week and different things like that. So if you are looking at doing YWAM or you're getting ready to go or whatever, just know you should get a call from your course leader or some kind of communication because they wanna to get to know you better as well. And that just made me feel super excited, but also just like, a little bit more chilled out because I'd already kind of gotten to know a couple of people. Something else that's really cool is that we also have a Facebook group for all the people that have been accepted into the Performing Arts DTS for 2020. It's really cool because you get to kind of know a bit more about the people that you're going to be spending six months with and it kind of means that once you arrive like on the base you kind of have faces to look out for as well. And my course leader as well sent through on the Facebook group um, like a more in-depth packing list because they have one on their website, but he was able to kind of just send through some more specific things that we might need just to remind us of stuff. So I'm going to just insert what my packing list looks like here. If you are doing the Performing Arts DTS or just any other DTS, this I hope is helpful for you. Obviously, depending on what DTS you do, you'll need specific things. So for me, I'm gonna also bring like some dance shoes and like just like some more active wear because I know that I'll be being more active with our rehearsals and stuff. So it depends. So if you're doing something more media and arts, you might have cameras you want to bring. I'm bringing my camera too, but yeah, just there'll be different things depending on the course that you do. But for me, this is the packing list that I'm going to be bringing with me. All right, so moving on into the last thing, just did a post on Instagram the other day, just kind of explaining a bit more about um, where my head's at and how I'm feeling coming so close up to leaving. And some things that I really wanted to just be open and share about is that when I first like applied for YWAM, it was like five months ago or something like that. So it's super early. I've explained it in other videos that I've done before, but I just went through this time where I was really just down and depressed and not enjoying life. Um, I loved my family and friends that I did have at that point in time, um, but I just felt so lonely and I didn't know why. Um, I only had a few close friends and they were absolutely amazing, um, but I always just wanted more. I wanted to be more active and I wanted to be adventurous and I wanted to do all of these things, but I feel like I couldn't do that here. And I was just in my little bubble and I just felt like I had to get out and see the world um, just to like reassess my whole life. Um, that was kind of where I was at and I really felt God calling me to do YWAM and so I signed up because of that reason but there was also this little bit in me that I was just like yes like this is my ticket out I'm going to the other side of the country like 
there's heaps of study you can do with YWAM. You know, after your DTS, you can go on to do more study and they do it all across the world. I was like, this is my ticket out. Like, I was fully convinced that I wasn't going to come home afterwards. Um, I was ready just to leave and just follow God and I didn't care. I was just like, yep, I'm going. And I had this little thing inside of me that I was just like, I'm not going to miss anyone. No one's going to miss me. Like I was just set on going. Since then, God has taken me on such a journey um, and he's brought new people and new friends into my life that have helped me learn to love life again and be that adventurous and spontaneous kind of person that I want to be and I just I cannot be more grateful and to all my friends and family um, that have been a part of this journey you know who you are and you know how special you are to me and you know how much I love you and I just can't thank you guys enough for being open to where God was leading you um, to influence my life and encourage me because it has truly truly just absolutely changed my world and completely changed my mindset even more so on the purpose and the reason for why I was going to YWAM. So now after that journey of fully surrendering this this loneliness and this unsettled feeling inside of me, it's really hard to describe. Once I just fully um, let that go and gave that to God, I found that there was progress happening and he started to switch my mindset and my view on a whole lot of different areas in my life. So I found myself starting to make more friends, um, starting to be connected with people. And I found this whole community of friends that have absolutely just championed me and loved on me. And that has just completely, like I said before, changed my world. I've also noticed that like my relationship with my family has grown so much more because they've been able to be alongside of me this whole process of me gaining back all of this self-confidence that I didn't realize I had lost. And I knew that I had low self-confidence, but I didn't actually realize how many insecurities I had um, and it's through this whole journey God has shown me all of this and been able to transform all of those and just completely turn it around. I just wanted to kind of share this with you and if you're applying for YWAM or maybe you're doing some other type of thing that God has shown you to do and you are kind of feeling the same kind of things that I did, I just want to let you know that you're not alone and it's completely normal but just open your heart and allow God to come in because he can truly just change, change your world and I am so excited for this six months away because it's going to be absolutely incredible and I know that I'm just going to come back even more strong of a person than I already am. Um, but it's also kind of sad because I have to leave my family and friends for six months. But six months is a long time, but it's also not a long time at the same time, if that makes sense. But yeah, so that's kind of where my mindset is at and it's okay to be emotional. It's okay to be sad. Um, but like I always say when I've had... Um, you know, like my best friend Lilia, she lives in Germany. So when I say goodbye to her, it wasn't like a goodbye forever. It was just, I'll see you later. And so that's the kind of terminology I want to use um, up to the time that I'm leaving is that it's not goodbye forever. It's just, I'll see you later. But being one week out, I'm getting more and more excited. I am so excited to just have these six months to be completely focused on God with no distractions. But every um, second of my day is doing something um, to just push myself closer to him and just grow my relationship with him. And I am so, so excited to just be seeking direction for my future and seeking direction for my next season and what he wants me to do in life. It's really kind of overwhelming, but even more so than that, I'm so, so excited. And I'm so excited to be making a whole bunch of new friends as well because I'm just, I just am loving life at the moment. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just loving life and I'm loving meeting new people and being able to champion them and share my story and encourage them because that honestly brings me the most joy is seeing people be empowered um, in their relationship with God. So one last thing I wanted to leave you with is I've gone into YWAM with a goal and my goal is to seek him and find clear direction for my future. So amongst all of the other things that I'm so excited for, that is my goal. So going into YWAM or going into doing something like YWAM, I really, really recommend to have that one goal that just kind of filters everything that you do. So that is what I'm most excited about for the next six months, meeting new people, growing myself, seeking God, growing my skills as well in all the creative art stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on here and give you that bit of an update and I hope that helps someone. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.